Step into the wondrous world of nostalgia, where the crackle of the television set unveiled adventures that continue to dance in the corners of our minds. Close your eyes and drift back to that first encounter with the 1966 TV series, Daktari. Do you recall the excitement that bubbled within you, the curiosity that ignited as the screen came to life? Perhaps it was the enchanting African backdrop, a canvas where every episode painted tales of untamed wilderness and heartfelt camaraderie. Memories intertwine with the characters, Dr. Marsh Tracy, a dedicated veterinarian, Paula, his resourceful and spirited daughter, Clarence, the cross-eyed lion, a true emblem of the show's whimsy. Together, they embarked on daring escapades, rescuing animals, solving mysteries, and weaving bonds that lingered far beyond the credits. As we tread deeper into the realm of Dektari, let's journey together through the underbrush of facts that have long remained hidden. Unveil the curtain on anecdotes that shimmer like sunbeams on savannas, shedding light on the behind-the-scenes magic that brought this beloved series to life. Immerse yourself once more in the charm and intrigue of Dektari, and relive the moments that became imprinted on your heart. From daring rescues to heartwarming connections, every episode etched an indelible mark on the tapestry of our memories. So, without further ado, let's unfurl the scroll of random facts about this treasured classic. And now, without keeping you any longer, let's delve into the heart of Daktari, where truth and fiction intertwine in the most captivating of ways. As we explore these hidden gems, let the spirit of adventure guide us, just as it did for our beloved characters in the African wild. Judy the Chimpanzee's affectionate antics on the set of the 1966 TV series Daktari added an endearing layer to the show's East African adventures. While Cheryl Miller, one of the show's co-stars, performed her scenes, Judy the Chimpanzee often displayed her fondness by planting a kiss on Cheryl's lips. This unexpected interaction between the two co-stars brought a delightful spontaneity to the show, capturing the hearts of viewers and exemplifying the unique camaraderie among the cast. Daktari, set at the Weimru Study Center for Animal Behavior in East Africa, followed the exploits of Dr. Marsh Tracy and his team as they cared for wildlife and navigated thrilling escapades. The show's name, Daktari, meaning doctor in Swahili, showcased the team's dedication to preserving and understanding the animal kingdom. The Weimru Study Center, a fictional yet evocative setting, highlighted the intersection of science, conservation, and adventure. Judy's affectionate gesture and the vibrant chemistry among the cast added a captivating dimension to Daktari, making it a beloved series that not only entertained but also fostered a deep appreciation for wildlife and the natural world. As viewers tuned in each week, they were transported to the heart of East Africa, where human and animal connections flourished against the backdrop of the Weimru Study Center's mission. In the realm of television history, Daktari remains a unique gem, weaving together drama, wildlife, and heartwarming moments that continue to resonate with audiences. The affectionate bond between Judy the Chimpanzee and Cheryl Miller, a testament to the unpredictable magic of live performances, is just one of the many reasons why Daktari remains a cherished classic. In the world of the 1966 TV series Daktari, the unique bond between humans and animals took center stage. Ralph Helfer and Marshall Thompson, the driving forces behind the show, held a steadfast rule for guest stars, approached the animals with caution. Before encountering their co-stars of the wild, stars were advised, remain still, maintain a hushed tone, and defer to the experts who understood the creature's temperaments. It was a dance of trust and respect, where the unspoken language between man and beast reigned supreme. However, it was Cheryl Miller who faced an unforgettable lion-sized challenge. In the opening scene, as she mounted Clarence the lion, a sense of trepidation loomed. With determined composure, Cheryl embraced the lion's unusual, gliding rhythm, capturing the scene flawlessly on her first attempt. Her courage and quick adaptability showcased the essence of the show, a harmonious coexistence of disparate worlds. Haktari transcended its animal-driven narrative, even finding a satirical nod in Mad Magazine, where it playfully morphed into Doc Tari. This whimsical homage underscored the show's cultural impact and its ability to leave an indelible mark on popular imagination. Through its intricate interplay of humans and untamed creatures, Daktari brought the untamed into our living rooms, a true testament to the power of nature's connection to humanity. 
In the annals of television history, Daktari remains a vivid chapter, a celebration of the symbiotic relationship between man and the wild both on screen and behind the scenes. It was a world where caution and courage merged, where actors danced with lions and elephants, and where the untamed spirit of Africa found its place amidst the controlled chaos of the soundstage. The legacy of Daktari endures as a reminder of the enchanting possibilities that arise when humans and animals share a mutual stage. Clarence, the cross-eyed lion, and Judy the chimpanzee shine at Patsy Awards in 1966. The iconic TV series Daktari captured the hearts of audiences worldwide, offering a captivating glimpse into the African wilderness. Amidst the show's enthralling adventures, two unexpected stars emerged, Clarence, the cross-eyed lion, and Judy the chimpanzee. These remarkable animal actors not only shared the screen with their human counterparts, but also secured their places in Hollywood history by clinching prestigious Patsy Awards. While Cheryl Miller's harmonious interactions with the animal cast drew admiration, it was Clarence and Judy who truly stole the spotlight. The endearing chemistry between Cheryl and Clarence, in particular, resonated with viewers. Clarence's distinctive appearance, marked by his cross-eyed gaze, became an endearing trademark of the series. In recognition of their exceptional contributions, both Clarence and Judy were honored with Patsy Awards, a tribute to their extraordinary performances that transcended traditional expectations of animal actors. The Patsy Awards, renowned for celebrating animal talent in the entertainment industry, solidified Clarence and Judy's positions as beloved icons of Daktari. The success of Daktari hinged not only on its engaging narratives and human characters, but also on the enchanting rapport between Cheryl Miller and her four-legged co-stars. The series' enduring legacy is a testament to the remarkable synergy achieved between human and animal performers, exemplified by Clarence, the cross-eyed lion, and Judy the chimpanzee. As Daktari continues to resonate with audiences over half a century later, the endearing bond between Cheryl, Clarence, and Judy stands as a heartwarming reminder of the magic that can unfold when human and animal worlds unite on screen. In 1966, television audiences were transported to the heart of East Africa through the captivating series, Daktari. Set against the backdrop of the Weimru Study Center for Animal Behavior, the show followed the adventures of Dr. Tracy and his dedicated team as they navigated the wild terrain, striving to understand and protect the region's diverse wildlife. Central to the show's authenticity was its connection to the Africa U. S. A. Ranch, an exotic animal training facility that played a pivotal role in bringing the show's animal kingdom to life. Situated as a real-world counterpart to the fictional Weimru Study Center, the Africa U. S. A. Ranch supplied the menagerie of animals that became integral to the series' allure. Lions, elephants, and zebras among others all found their way from the ranch to the television screen, adding a layer of genuine intrigue to the show's portrayal of East African wildlife. As viewers tuned in week after week, they were not just entertained by the daring exploits of Dr. Tracy and his team, but also provided with a window into the world of animal conservation and behavior. The Weimru Study Center, though a creation of fiction, underscored the importance of understanding and coexisting with the natural world, a message that resonated deeply with audiences of the time. Daktari went beyond mere entertainment. It fostered a connection between viewers and the animals that graced their screens, encouraging an appreciation for the beauty and fragility of the animal kingdom. Through its partnership with the Africa U.S.A. Ranch and its portrayal of the Weimru Study Center, the show left an indelible mark on television history and conservation awareness alike. In the annals of television, Daktari remains a testament to the power of storytelling and its ability to shed light on the world's most captivating and vulnerable creatures. As Dr. Tracy and his team navigated the challenges of the East African landscape, they also guided audiences on a journey of discovery, one that transcended fiction and left an enduring legacy of respect and fascination for the animal kingdom. Cheryl Miller, the spirited star of the 1966 TV series Daktari, proved her mettle when she bravely mounted Clarence, the enigmatic cross-eyed lion, for the show's opening scene. As cameras rolled, a hint of trepidation danced in Cheryl's eyes, yet her determination shone brighter. 
Guiding herself onto Clarence's back with a mixture of caution and confidence, Cheryl adeptly adjusted to his unconventional, undulating gait. Astonishingly, they nailed the scene on the very first take. The chemistry between Cheryl and Clarence extended far beyond that introductory moment. Throughout the series, Cheryl's affinity for her furry co-stars was undeniable. A harmonious rapport blossomed between her and Clarence, along with the myriad of other creatures that graced the show's savanna landscapes. As Judy the Chimpanzee playfully orchestrated her antics and other animals punctuated the drama, Cheryl's camaraderie with the animal cast added an authentic dimension to the show's allure. Cheryl's remarkable ease in the presence of these beasts was a testament to her dedication to the craft and her love for the role. Her ability to seamlessly interact with the wild denizens of Dektari not only endeared her to audiences, but also underscored the show's unique charm. In the world of Dektari, Cheryl Miller wasn't merely an actress. She was an intrepid explorer, a lion tamer, a friend to chimpanzees, and a beacon of fearlessness. Her on-screen partnership with Clarence and the Animal Kingdom became a cornerstone of the series' success, etching her name into television history as a force to be reckoned with in the company of the untamed. So, when Cheryl Miller gallantly hopped aboard Clarence's back that day, she did more than kick off a TV series. She forged a connection that would captivate audiences for years to come, immortalizing her as the fearless heart of Dactari. As we step back from the captivating world of the 1966 TV series Dactari, it's like gazing into the untouched heart of the wild savanna itself. The show's seamless blend of adventure, camaraderie, and the undeniable bond between humans and animals has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. As you reflect upon the adventures of Dr. Marsh Tracy, his resourceful daughter Paula, and their remarkable animal companions, it's impossible not to be drawn into the rhythm of life in the African wilderness. The intrigue of each episode, the unique challenges faced, and the heartwarming moments shared remind us of the untamed beauty of nature and the enduring connections that bridge the gap between species. Maybe you found yourself cheering for Clarence the cross-eyed lion or felt a pang of nostalgia whenever Judy the Chimp stole the spotlight. Perhaps you were inspired by the commitment of the Tracy family to both their animal charges and the local community. Whether it's the thrill of the chase or the warmth of the bonds formed, Daktari beckons us to explore the untamed corners of our own hearts where adventure and empathy reside. Now, it's your turn to share. What memories, emotions, or insights has Daktari awakened in you? Your reflections can become a part of the vibrant tapestry of appreciation for this timeless series. Join the conversation, let your voice echo across the digital savanna, and keep the spirit of Daktari alive. Thank you for journeying with us through the memories and musings of Daktari. Your time and curiosity are cherished, and your thoughts add richness to the legacy of this remarkable show. Until we venture into another captivating story together, keep the wild within you alive.